Lesson 39, graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Now, when you learned this at a younger age, you were still learning how to graph straight lines. So it caused a little bit of um, stress for you. But now that you know how to graph the lines, we just have to figure out the shading part. So before we do any graphing at all, there, sometimes you get asked a question such as this one. So this is an example. Is the origin, point zero zero, a solution to y is greater than 7 plus 2x? So when you're asked a question like this, just plug in for x and y. So then you ask yourself, is 0 greater than 7 plus 0? And the answer is no. So 0, 0 would not be a solution to that inequality. Heidi, question? Could you maybe like zoom in a little bit? Doesn't really help, but there we go. Okay, we're going to do just uh, two more examples like that. So is negative 1, 2 a solution to negative 5y less than or equal to 4x plus 3? So we have negative 10. Is that less than or equal to negative 4 plus 3? Is negative 10 less than or equal to negative 1? Yeah. Sometimes. Always. Always. On a number line, negative 10 negative is 10 to is the left. Equals, oh, or. It's, not an and. it's an or. Yep. Okay. So now if I wanted to graph uh, this inequality, you're going to have part of your graph will be shaded. So if negative 2y plus 6 is greater than or equal to 3x. So we're going to graph on a coordinate plane. You know it's going to be on a coordinate plane because there's an x and a y. So we solve for y. We're going to subtract 6 from both sides and get negative 2y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 6. Then we're going to divide by a negative 2. When you divide by a negative, your sign has to flip around. So you have y is less than or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 3. Since the slope is negative, I know my line is going to have a negative slope. So I'm going to draw my coordinate plane. Um, before I graph, I just want to ask, in which direction does x values get bigger? To the right. In which direction do the y values get smaller? Down. Down. In which direction do the y values get bigger? Up. And the x values get smaller? Left. 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 Okay. Spencer. So this is just the same thing as graphing a rectangular line, except yes. it's just inequality. Yes. It's like slope intercept form. Right. With the inequality. Yes. Okay. If you have a greater than or equal to, your line will be solid. Solid. Okay. So when I go to my y-intercept 3, I'm going to put a solid circle there. If it did not have the or equal to, I would put an open circle there. The slope is negative 3 halves, so I'm going to go down 3 and to <laughs> the right 2 so that I can get a negative slope. And it is solid. Okay. This says that y is less than or equal to. What did we say about y and which direction it gets smaller? Down. Down. So we are going to shade below the line or by where the y is getting smaller.
and that is um, graphing the linear inequality in two variables. Yes? So when it's just a not a break, not if it was just like less than, it would be like a dotted line? Yes. Does that mean the line would be discrete? Uh, um, it's so not a function. It's just a representation? Yeah. Okay. It just means that no point on the line would work in that inequality. True. That's what that means. Yes, Ben? So if you did this with like a three variable where it's just like you like a plane and then it would have like a 3D. Okay. Yep. But let's not do that. Okay, I'm giving you an example of an inequality in two variables that is not necessarily linear. In fact, it's parabolic. Wait, is that a word? I think it is. Okay, I just want to for the fun of it. And I'm the teacher, I can do what I want. Okay, so y is greater than x squared. And you guys know that x squared, this is like if it were equal to, it would be the parent function. So it's only greater than, it is not or equal to, so we're going to have open circles. Um, at 1 and negative 1, it's going to go through the point, that point, and then 2 and negative 2 go through 4 on the y. And then we do a dotted line in the parabola shape. Now it says y is greater than this graph. So what direction did we say y is getting bigger? Up. Up. So we are going to graph on the inside of the parabola because it's up above the dotted line. And that would be y is greater than x squared. Okay, we are going to do some lesson <laughs> practice, but I'm going to stop the lesson now.